What's up guys, Sinclair Photos here, and today we are gonna go check out the brand new Lamborghini Urus, or the Lamborghini SUV, as some of those people who don't know what the Urus is, it's just the Lambo SUV, the Lambo truck that we've been hearing so much about for the past, probably year. It got unveiled at the Geneva Motor Show, I think, or like the concept did, but now it is finally here in Houston. Ignore the loud ass windshield wipers behind me. They suck. Oh, there they go. All right, yeah, we're gonna go check this out. And it's foggy and rainy outside, so of course, we got Mike driving us, the uh, the guy that hates driving in the fog and the rain. So let's see how this goes. Hopefully we don't wreck, and hopefully the Urus is even at Lamborghini Houston. So fingers crossed, baby, here we go. So to infinity We're going Alright, we're finally inside. We got the beautiful, beautiful SV Roadster in like very dark red. And then we have the regular SV in a lighter red. I take that any day of the week. And right over here we got the Lamborghini Urus, baby. The Bentley truck of Lamborghini. First impressions, I dig it. Kind of got like the Aventador kind of right here. And then you got the mom car right here. Let's take a dive in and look at this stuff because I'm intrigued by this car very much. With the speed of So one thing I've noticed so far is that whenever you're looking at the car, you got the aggressive front top, and then you got one, two, three cameras, and there's probably more underneath. You have one, two spots for tow hooks, and then I'm guessing one, two sensors areas. And then we got one on the side right here. We got one right here, one right here, one right here, one right here, and one right there. So you got like seven or eight parking sensors on this thing. So I doubt you will ever, ever back into anything. Got these gigantic tires. I can't, let's see if you can see this. Okay, so you got, put your arm down there. Like, you got Mike's arm is about like that and then come over here put it down on the ground in front of this the tire on the Urus is about as tall as an Aventador S which is really cool this thing is a monster man then on the inside you got your Lamborghini steering wheel got all your buttons and gizmos and then in the middle right there you have an exhaust setup support thingy so you're able to choose Strata, Sport, Corsa, Saba or something, and I can't see the last two. But you have an exhaust setting on an SUV, which is really, really cool. Kind of looks like a Parrot a little bit, but you know, I dig it. Let me inspect this thing a little bit more and see if we have any other goodies to show you. Alright, another cool thing I noticed is that you got like kind of the Centenario style tail lights and then if you go down here, you have a quad tips exhaust baby. And then up under here apparently is a lot of carbon fiber. But imagine an SUV with an aftermarket exhaust. That would be crazy. 
I think you can get this carbon fiber as an option. I just saw a picture, but I don't think this one has it because it's the demo. But I really want to sit inside of it and check out like how many cup holders it has, how the seats feel, and all that jazz. Because I know there's a little window button in there, and it's the same thing I have in my Volkswagen. So that's pretty hilarious. Got the little fin for the radio signal. And is that a wing I see? It is a wing. That is sick. All right, ladies and gents, here we go. They gave us the okay to open this baby up and see what it's all about. All right, so we got the regular doors. No butterflies on this thing. Oh, I missed it. Oh, you got the cool heads up display just like in an Aventador. You got the date and everything. 19 miles, very nice. Oh, it does have the light up thing. Did it shine on the ground too? No. Okay, yeah, just the light up thing right here. Got the cool door pulleys, just like an Aventador. Damn, son. Got the little seat clickers. Feels very nice. I'm gonna sit in it in a second, but I just wanna check this out from first hand view. Got the lights shining down. Very nice. All right, and then in the back seat, you got two really big screens. And let's check out the cup holders, baby. Oh, there they are. That's probably the best part about the dang car. You got Lamborghini in this. It's very soft, very comfy, very plush. All right, time to sit in this bad boy. Got two cup holders in the back. Okay, sitting in the Urus now. First impressions it is very comfy, very far back, but I'm sure you can change that. Um, steering wheel feels good. Got the little Lamborghini right here. Focus. There we go. This feels pretty cool. I'm not going to honk the horn. I think got your paddle shifters. Paddles feel really good. Um, this middle thing, like the SV has. And then you can see a lot of people have been probably poking this screen, but I don't think the key's in here. So now we got Strada, Sport, Corsa, Sabia, Terra, and Neve. I don't know what half those words mean, but I know what ego mode means. This is very loud, very loud. But I'm excited to hear this in the future. Got your fighter pilot start stop button, parking, and then I don't know what that, maybe that's automatic parking. Or maybe that is. Or maybe that is. Or maybe that is. Who knows? But yeah, very spacious, very roomy in here. Very luxurious. Mom, if you're watching, let's get one of these. I don't know. That's probably a door open signal, lights. This even feels nice. It's like Alcantara roof all the way back. Dang, this thing impresses me. Got the hazards, everything. Very nice. I'd give this car 10 out of 10. I'd rather this than a Bentayga any day of the week. Anybody that's looking to buy a Urus, um, you have Bang and Olsven for the like sound system, I guess, and you get like the cool Performante kind of like engravings in the sound system. Then there's a little light up under here. I don't know what that's for. And then you got this this fake wood, I think, along the door panel. This one has the blue interior. Um, and like the little details, all this is wood. I didn't know that. And it has these like little carvings in it all the way across. But yeah, then we got two more cup holders in the front. Very cool, I, I dig this a lot. I like how big the door is. The door isn't connected to the B pillar, it's connected to the A pillar. And yeah, it just swings out. Back one does the same thing. 
comes out real nice. And I'd imagine that the screens have very good resolution as well. So you got the Urus right here. Let me know in the comments below, would you take the Urus or the LM002? This is like the old Lamborghini SUV, the Rambo Lambo, some call it. Yeah, I don't, I, I'm, I'm taking the Urus guys. This Performante, I think, is the best spec I've seen. God, the navy dark blue with the bronze rims. 10 of 10, boys. Definitely not reading off my phone right now, but the Lamborghini Urus price starts at $200,000. We have a 4.0 liter V8 packing 641 horsepower under its stubby hood. The Lamborghini Urus estimates 0 to 60 time of 3.6 seconds and a top speed of 190 miles an hour. So. This is an SUV that you can almost go 200 freaking miles an hour in, and I'm sure with some mods, some exhaust, some air intake maybe, you can go more than 200. Close my eyes and... Let me just be the first to say, if you get a demon in yellow, you're doing something freaking wrong with your life. I just, I don't get it. Yellow is not a flattering car on this, color on this car whatsoever. And it being a demon doesn't make it any better. I think if you're gonna get a demon, get it in like black or red or something like evil looking, not freaking yellow, you look like a french fry. So we hopped over to Porsche real quick, checking out some stuff they have here. I did not know this was here. It's like the Porsche Turbo S exclusive series. Oh, gotcha. Um, it comes in three colors, I think. Gold, I know there's gold. I just don't, maybe silver and some other color. But all the carbon fiber, it's just like a, just a limited Turbo S. I don't think there's anything else like super duper special about it. But this color with all this carbon fiber, very good there, nice. All right, so upstairs we got the 918 chassis number 112. I think this is like the liquid blue silver one. This might also be the one that the kid bought that was 20 and then like flaked on it for some reason. That's pretty cool, but also we have all these old Porsches up here. I know this is a speedster, I'm pretty sure, but I don't know what any of these are. So if you could help me out, tell me what these are, that'd be much appreciated. This one's really funky. 914 2.0. Interesting, interesting. I got just a bunch of old air-cooled Porsches. And this bad boy. If you know what it is, or what any of these other ones are, there's a GT2. GT2, but yeah, enjoy the air-cooled Porsches. All right, and then the little service bay, you got a GT3 RS 4.0, one really, really basic career GT, and then the unicorn, the white one. My boy owns this car, and whenever he gets back in town, hopefully we'll set up something cool. He even got the tow hook on the front. That's sick, boy. All right, and then back there, here, Mike, put your head right here. Move, like right here, and stop. A little bit to the left, right there. Black Courier GT with the yellow brakes. Hmm. And if three wasn't enough, here is a fourth Carrera GT. This one, I think, is for sale. So, 
lots of Carrera GTs here right now. If you're looking to buy one, this one's for you. Beautiful silver with brown leather interior. Mmm, mmm, very nice. Got the exclusive series on the wall over there. We've seen that 911R before. And you got a beautiful white GT3 RS. That pretty much wraps it up for Porsche. Let's go get something to eat, baby. All right, you already know what it is. We pulled up. B-dubs, baby. But we ain't taking out, though. We taking in all this delicious wangs. Sponsor me, please. We eating good out here. Delicioso. All right, everybody. This is a proper Corona etiquette. So you punch the lime in with your thumb. There you go. Stick your thumb in the hole. And now turn it upside down with your thumb in the hole. And it the floats to the top. You like that. And then it goes to the, no, it goes to the bottom because you have to get it through there. Whatever, don't worry about it here. But proper proper corona etiquette. Thumb, twist upside down the lime, goes up there, and then you have lime for the rest of the time. So that's how to do it for next time. Bottoms up. Come descends on me. Take me with you. Let me tell them. Alright, this is how you this is how you eat wings and beer. Take the wing, you take it by and you freaking chug a beer. Bottoms up! Woohoo! And more! Alright, we're gonna end the vlog here. You might get a Sinclair sneeze. No, no, actually. There you go, Sinclair sneeze. We got the enemy parked out front of Buffalo Wild Wings. Um, we're just gonna end the video here. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you liked the Eurus. If you're buying the Eurus, let me know. That'd be sick. Uh, I want to do an in-depth review on them in the future. We're getting back in the truck. Mike's fucked up. I hope we don't <laughs> die. But that's it for now. So bye. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in the next video.